I'd like to introduce you to my, uh, to my dear patient, Sergio. Sergio is one of my success stories. He's one of the uh, patients whom I did um, bone marrow aspiration uh, concentration stem cell treatment. It was a long time ago. One of my earlier uh, uh, patients, he was suffering from some arthritis. He actually lives in China. Uh, he uh, comes down periodically for treatment. Uh, and uh, back then, uh, I did the, the procedure. And, uh, you know, back then there wasn't a lot of information on how effective it was. And then when he came back, he told me about it. I was actually um, pleasantly surprised. And since then, I've been doing a lot of bone marrow aspiration concentration as well as platelet-rich plasma. So just, let me just uh, introduce you to Sergio really quick, and he's going to tell you about his experience. I had two. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And I had, I had two uh, meniscus operation on my left knee prior to seeing you. And I had some uh, OA, osteoarthritis, mm -hmm. and on a, on a flight, after 45 minutes, my knee would tighten, and I'd feel pressure, so I'd have to snap it, and I'd always have to sit on the aisle. I could never, ever sit anywhere except the aisle because of my knee. After the first treatment that you did, my next flight had no pressure, none. After the second treatment that you did, my left knee after a while felt better than my right knee that I'd never had problems. Today, to this day, my last treatment was 2014. Today, to this day, my left knee, where the treatment was done, feels better than my right knee. And whenever I have to ice, I ice just because I, I'm in a habit of icing. But if, I'm going, if I have a choice to ice, left knee that I've had two operations plus the stem cells or my right knee that I've never had any any treatments I do my right knee so you're pretty happy with that stem cell treatment on the left side right uh, yeah. incredibly yeah. happy I wish I would like to do the right knee even though I don't have anything <laughs> just because of how good my, yeah. my left knee feel I, yeah. actually it feels it, it feels like someone went in there and scrubbed it and and rejuvenated the, yeah. the whole knee yeah. yeah, so um, that was for the bone marrow treatment, and then you've also had some PRP treatment, which I, I think has been working out for you for other other things as well, yes. right? Not my knee. Yeah, I know Not for other knee. things, which yeah. I which uh, uh, which I I believe is also a great treatment for many problems. So thank you so much, Sergio. I, re I really appreciate you coming all the way from China to visit us. That's right, China. Yeah. Uh, and anyways, just wanted to share this with you because, I mean, it's not magic. It's not a magic bullet. It's not for everyone. He stays in shape. He works out. Uh, he watches what he eats. He stretches. There's a lot of things involved when you when you have problems. But sometimes adding an injection such as stem cells or platelets helps. And I just wanted to share the success story uh, um, uh, uh, with you guys and let you know that it is an option. People that are suffering from moderate to severe arthritis, bone marrow aspiration, stem cell treatment can help. Uh, it might be something that you want to try. And anyways, just wanted to share this with you. Thank you very much for watching. For those who don't know what bone marrow aspiration concentration stem cells is all about, it's basically an, a procedure that can be done in the office. I numb up the hip, I can aspirate some of the bone marrow, and that bone marrow is then, then put through a centrifuge system where we, we remove the red blood cells, remove uh, content that's unnecessary, isolate the stem cells, concentrate them into a small volume, and inject them into the um, desired injury site or arthritic site. It's a procedure that can be done in the office. Uh, it's almost painless. When it's done right, it really doesn't hurt too much. If people are very anxious, we can always do it in the operating room with some IV sedation. But for the most part, something that can be done here in the office. It's very easy to do. It takes a couple of hours, probably. Uh, there's information online about this. I posted information uh, on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, as well as on Instagram. So if, if anybody's interested in uh, learning about this, please reach out. I'm available for you guys. Thank you so much.